Hi, I'm Amanda with Lumber Evolution, and today we're gonna to make a kid's art display. So let's head over to the computer and let's create. All right, I just put my dry erase board in. Um, I have the Pro, so I just used the pass-through slot just to try to save some room on the material. You can have them cut this down at Home Depot, and that's where I find this dry erase board. It's reversible, so one side is the chalk-based and one is the white dry erase board. Um, I'm liking this one just because I'm doing something that's white with the clouds. So when I want to engrave the words, it will engrave black. And then it's really easy to clean up and little work has to be done. So this file I have in my Etsy shop for the clouds. If you purchase that um, to make this, you can, you can have the clouds. Otherwise you can do this with like any other kind of images, like you could do a star or like dinosaurs or mountains or whatever. Um, I drew this uh, cloud because I wanted the clouds for my daughters. <clears throat> so if you got this file from our Etsy shop, it will come plain. You can go and add the words if you would like. Uh, I wanted to add that little personalized touch to this. So I'm gonna go and get this ready to cut. I'm gonna use my same settings I do typically for my birch, which is 145 speed over full power, and then an engrave of 1000 speed over 75 power. So I'm gonna upload that and it's gonna be right under eight minutes. So we're gonna go print this and then come back. So since we didn't mask, these come out charred, but I'm gonna use the magic eraser and this is gonna clean right up on both of these really quick. And then I just picked some acrylic paints that I'm gonna to use to paint the top portion of each of these uh, clothespins. So let's go do that. And now I'm going to cut the backing hooks that we're gonna go and glue onto the clouds. So I just used a little piece of scrap that I previously had. I'm gonna do this, cut the birch at the 145 speed over full power. Okay, now we're gonna print these and we'll let those go. All right, now that we cut the backing hooks, I'm not gonna worry about sanding them since no one's really gonna see them. So I'm just going to super glue them to the top. Now I want to um, glue the string on to these. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue the string on. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of hot glue. And what I think works best is I just tie a little knot towards the end and then try to stick that knot in the super glue and then I just use the tip of it to make sure it gets down in there and then I'm not gonna burn myself that way. Right, and I'm gonna let these dry for a little longer and then we're gonna go hang this up. for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't and tune in next Monday to see what we're going to create.